Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gail and welcome. I create makeup looks that are easy to achieve using mainly drugstore products. In today's video, I'm going to recreate the eyeshadow look that I used in my Milani foundation review video. This palette is from Next Beauty, not to be confused with NYX, which is an amazing dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. So, if you're ready, let's start. I've already got my base on, which was the Milani foundation, so I'm just going to quickly sort out my under eyes, brighten them up a bit, and get rid of those hollows, those dark circles, and I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. Apply it to the inner and outer corners where the most darkness is. Just tapping with the brush. You can actually use your fingertips with this, but I actually like to use brush. It's really lightweight as well and the best thing about this it doesn't cling to the dryness but always make sure you use an eye cream just to hydrate under your eyes so that any product any makeup goes on so much more smoothly and easily so you're not kind of dragging. I'm applying it to the eyelids as well it makes a great eyeshadow base if you don't have an eyeshadow primer and obviously it evens out the skin tone too. I'm just going to set under my eyes and my eyelids with this translucent finishing powder. Just a light dusting. You'll find that the eyeshadow blends a lot easier. Onto the brows. This is the NYX brow pencil and it's got the spoolie on the end of it as well. What I do is I brush down the brows first. Start shaping, filling in gaps. And then brush upwards. I do like a big fluffy brow. And then the tail. I don't bring the tail too low down because I don't want to drag the eye down. If you've got droopy eyes, if you bring your eyebrow tail too far down, it's going to make your eyes a bit more droopy. I love this brow gel. It's so inexpensive. Shades are quite pretty. A few mattes, a few sparkles, very muted. And it comes with a double-sided brush. I'll start with that one there. Can't really see that. Well, anyhow, it'll act as a nice base. This is like a little blending brush. It'll be great for doing more detailed blending, but it's, it's quite thin. So it's gonna take a long time to actually blend anything if you've got a bigger area. And this little brush, I'm assuming, is um, like a shader brush to pat. The eyeshadow on again it's it's quite a small one great for detail work but probably it would take you quite a while to put it all over your lid so i'll just use my brush start with that all over the eyelid the crease area Ooh, they're quite pigmented you don't need a huge amount of product so perhaps I've put too much on, but hey, let's just keep blending it towards the brow bone. This was going to be a transition shade, but it's actually quite a lot darker than I wanted it to be. It's really blendable. These eyeshadows are really impressive. The colours aren't super exciting, but it's a smoky neutral palette, so they're going to be smoky and neutral. Use that light shade there. Get rid of the harsh, any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to use my Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner. What I'm going to do is just literally scribble and then before it dries down, just quickly blend it in. And then let's try that sparkly shade on top. Oh yeah, that packs a punch. I'm going to use this shade and I'm going to apply it with my fingertip just to the middle of my eye lid. And using that brush that came with the palette, dip in to this lighter shade. Just apply it to the inner corner. I feel like I ought to use the other end of this, so... Just joining it up so there's no gap on the outer corner of the eye and smudge it out using a 219S 
pencil brush. This is a mascara from Smashbox. It's the first time I'm trying it. It's called Super Fan. I guess it's going to fan my lashes out quite beautifully. This is the second coat I'm putting on these lashes. And it looks pretty good. Not too heavy. I don't know how many more coats I could get away with putting on actually, but um, it did lift and volumize and still quite natural. I'm going to keep my lips neutral, so I'm using this lipstick from Essence. Just to give my lips a bit more definition and shape, I'm just going to line them with a lip pencil called Whirl. Just going to warm things up a bit with my mess soda. A gorgeous mineralized blush. A great way to brighten up a January winter's day. If you want to know where to place your blush, I just usually grin and when the apples of the cheeks pop out, apply your blush. And I usually take it up here to the temples just for continuity. You get a slight sheen with this blush. It's really pretty, really dainty. You can see a touch of radiance. My current favourite lip oil, this is a really affordable one and it's by NYX. Thanks for watching guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.